Hello. Is it, is it right to decolonize opera or are we erasing history? Is it right to decolonize opera? Right, so just to explain this a little bit, so there was a story this week. The Royal Opera House have announced they're, they're, they're going to decolonize their repertoire uh, in an attempt to eradicate racism in opera. So staging, costumes, artistic direction. They're, they're, they're saying that they, it needs to be appropriate for a modern day audience, right? So, so but these are old. Uh, pieces of work, you know, where, that were written in a different time with a different sensibility. And sometimes when you go to the theatre, audiences are expected to suspend their disbelief mm -hmm. and to be able to contextualise and, and put things in, in, into context. And, you know, this reminds me very much of the, of the way, you know, recently there was this story about To Kill a Mockingbird no longer being taught in, in schools because it uses racial slurs. But the book is such an explicitly anti-racist <laughs> book. And if they didn't have the racial slurs in there, all of a sudden all these people wouldn't seem so racist. Mm. And you'd be like, well, what's going on here? You know, it's actually quite important for the, for the message. Am I wrong about this, Nick? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, look, opera is so important to me. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm really bothered. That's why I've come to you for I know, <laughs> yeah. it's important, and I'm really bothered about <laughs> racial stereotypes in things that I'll never watch, so it is important to me. Mm. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's another culture war story. I almost like, got culture war fatigue on this one. I'm almost like, I mean. should they decolonize opera? I'm, I'm sure it's important, but I almost just went, uh, I don't have an opinion. <laughs> like, I couldn't Which muster why Nick Dixon is here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's funny, because I tried to suggest to Nick we should go to the opera this week, and uh. he wanted to see Venom 2. Oh. Venom 2, right? <laughs> it's so good. He's a suit, I, you know, but he's not, it's him, but it's not. And he's killing people and eating them. Come on. Oh, I was, Andrew thinks that was low, bro. Well, I was... <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I, was, I went to see Satya Graha at the uh, London Coliseum, which is an, a minimalist opera by Philip Glass about Mahatma Gandhi in what? Sanskrit. What? And he saw Venom 2. <laughs> so I'll, I'll let you make the judgment. I haven't seen it yet. Who's, who's highbrow here? <laughs> who would rather see Venom 2? I probably... No, I actually One, love... Two, put two your hands. hand down. Put your hand down. They'd all rather see Venom 2. Stein. <laughs> Phil, un unbelievable. No, go and see an opera about Gandhi. Uh, so, Patrick. Well, I've seen a, a lot of operas. One of my favourite was the musical of The Lawnmower Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to let that, that lie. That was oh, good, by the way. Is, it was a great one. It was a great one. There was only <laughs> me there because no one had ever heard of it. <laughs> and apart from Nick was working the projector, not that they have a projector at an opera. Um, look, I mean, look, I think you've already... You answered this yourself, even, Mohammed, when even when you read the question, I think we all answered it, that the fact was... I mean, look, it's opera. I mean, it's... I, I, there is people who are still fans of that, but it is so outdated in a way that... But the whole of opera. Yeah, look, at this, look, look at us. Look at... We're, we're talking, people who, have, uh, who watch opera probably won't even know what these are, TV and camera. You know, it's such a... <laughs> it's like... Look, this is what uh, these people did in the old days. Yeah, I mean, there's so much you need to change about opera, but I think maybe, like, short running times and intervals as well as the history of it and stuff like that. But, again, we haven't watched enough. We haven't watched any of it <laughs> to sort of <laughs> criticise it, but, you know... So we need to liven the opera up Yeah, I think... What do you I think, Andy? You're the one that's... Well, what about a fancy fan? castle? You know, what yeah, about... Yeah. What do you, oh, you're honestly, the one that likes it. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to this, because this is Philistinism, <laughs> pure and simple.